Cartman, you ate the skin off of every piece of chicken. Well, I saved you all the chicken part. The skin's the best part. Well, I gotta go home, guys. I'm gonna sit on the toilet and read comic books. See you at the bus stop tomorrow. After 22 seasons, South Park has a Cartman problem. And today on Screen Rant, we'll find out why season 27 needs to fix that. I'm going down to South Park, gonna have myself a time. When South Park debuted in 1997, there were chaotic characters, sure, but the show didn't have a de facto villain. However, this all changed in Season 5, Episode 8, when Eric Cartman turns Scott Tennerman's parents into chili. Yeah, 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 yeah. I made you eat your parents. Oh, and Radiohead is there too. Who are you? We're that band, Radiohead. Ever since, Cartman's villain turn was never reversed. With season 27 looming, this formula needs to change. Cartman can't continue to be South Park's villain. Cartman, you are the bad guy, not us. He's already had plenty of nefarious plot lines throughout the years, though the character did actually see some surprisingly sweet storylines in recent years, starting with 2021's post-COVID special. After these uplifting experiments proved that they can work, season 27 should lean into Cartman's heroic side. So, are we cool? Of course, heroic is a morally murky term in the world of South Park. However, Cartman's unexpected moments of decency work so well because they clash with his character. Just as viewers were initially shocked by his atrocities in Scott Tennerman, they are now baffled when Cartman does something truly selfless. As it stands, Cartman's villain trope has become predictable, which leaves an opening for a new villain. An obvious choice for season 27 could be Mr. Garrison, as the 2024 US election cycle ramps up. Regardless, South Park has dabbled with changing Cartman's character, but it has yet to do it outright. If it commits, the twist could freshen things up and upend South Park's formula. For more, stay tuned to Screen Rant. That's all, folks.